have been named. Darcy Fort has also been named uh, after impressing in the ruck. So there we go. You're definitely reading that straight off to the Geelong website, isn't he? I am. Thanks to <laughs> Tom Collins on Geelong.com. Anyway, um, Isaac, um, mate, playing here at Giant Stadium, uh, you've played a couple of games here before, but this one will be different with no crowd. It's going to be a unique experience, isn't it? Um, yeah, it definitely is. Um, I mean, although like it's going to be weird for a lot of the players and all the superstars like Cogs and, and all that, but I've actually got three years of playing in front of no <laughs> crowd, so I'm, I'm actually going to feel pretty comfortable out there, I reckon. <laughs> how, long have, how long have you practised that line for? Um... Oh, I think since I found out I'm <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, I mean, when we um when we trained on Wednesday and um there was obviously no crowd in the um in the stadium, it was we knew that this is one of this is what it was going to feel like on Saturday night, and um we're actually really loud and energetic as a um as a training group. So I think if we just sort of bring that same intensity and energy to Saturday night, then. Um, we'll be loud enough to sort of create our own energy and, and vibe out there. So, Cheese, you've been on the list for a few years now. Tell, talk to us about why you're called Cheese. It's not my favourite story, but no one calls you Isaac. Um, no, I actually don't even like when people call me Isaac besides me, mum and dad. But, um, <laughs> um, oh, it seriously goes back to when I was about six years old, I reckon. I used to just... Um, when my brothers were playing cricket, I used to just sort of be that annoying little brother that used to just hang around all their brother's older friends. And, um, you yeah, know, I just remember one day they were batting and um, obviously there was nine, play- nine players not batting and they were just watching. And um, Matt Garrick actually said, you like a little cheese ball. <laughs> I don't know why, but it stuck, it stuck to that, stuck to this day. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't got a better story, though. <laughs> so talk to us about what life's like for you in Sydney. Who are you living with at the moment? I'm living with Rowley and my lovely girlfriend, Mia. Look at you go. You've really committed over the last 12 months, haven't you? Yeah, i have going up. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> Broken Hill originally. What's your favourite part about Sydney now you've been here for a while? Um, Favourite part about Sydney is definitely the beaches. I mean, I've spent the whole day today at Bronte Beach actually and then um probably followed up just by the cafes and on all the and all the food down here. When I go back home I find that I miss all the different food on offer down down here because yeah, there's not much besides Subway and a steak for, for dinner <laughs> at Breaking Meal. So um yeah, just that sort of stuff down here. So back on to this week's game. We obviously know Geelong um, got to the prelim finals this time last year. What have been some of the main focus areas as you head into this week's game? Um, I think as a group, I mean, we've, um, we've addressed what we need to do and, and how we need to play to beat the Cats. But, um, I mean, individually, it's just um, studying the players that I'm going to be playing on and um, sort of their set up around stoppage and all that. But I think... Um, like with the excitement and, and hype around round one, it's just sort of going, going out there and staying composed and just staying level-headed when um yeah when things go a bit tricky. But I think um I think we'll be all right. Cheese, before we let you go, give us some insight into how th- uh, Wednesday night played out from a player's point of view. I know as staff we were sitting around the TV at 7:40 just waiting to you know get any indication because the decision dragged on and on. Was it similar for the players or did you just have to put it out of your mind and know that, well, when we find out, we'll find out and you know, we'll, we'll deal with it from there? Um, no, we were the exact same. I mean, I think Sprouley told me at the club at like 2 o'clock that we're going to find out within the next hour of what, what's going to be going on. And then, yeah, it got to like 6 o'clock and we were just sitting at home wondering what's going on. Um, and then we found out that that press test conference was going to happen, so we'll just tune right into that. But um, I mean, yeah, we had some plans in action if we weren't going to play, but once we found out that um, we were on, it was just yeah, a big sigh of relief that we get to finally play this weekend. And when you say plans, is that in terms of right, boys? If this game gets pulled off the table, training plans? Is that what you're referring to? Um, no, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> More in terms of let the hair down. Is that what you say? It was more in terms of, right, I will see you at the Golden Chief in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't see that coming. I thought, okay. Uh, I think Dylan Shield um, spoke at Essendon saying something similar, that 
you know, you know, Dylan obviously quite well being former teammates and not a huge drinker, but reckoned that he had a four pack of pale ale ready to go. And then when he saw the game was play being played, he had to put it back in the fridge. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, he's not the sort of biggest of drinkers, but if he's um, if he's getting that nervous about whether we're playing footy or not, you can tell it tell it makes the players um, very nervous about what's going on. But now you're just excited to get out there on Saturday night. You know you'll have um, plenty of support behind you. What was that? Sorry, Zoe? You're just excited to get out there on Saturday night now? Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, yeah, like you said, it's my fourth year now and I've only sort of played the, the seven games and um, to be named in the round one size just, um, yeah, so so such an honour to um to run out there in the first game of the year and um, hopefully we can kick it off with a win. Hey, Isaac, before we let you go, mate, a very quick message to the members and fans who'd usually be here at Giant Stadium leaning over the fence. And, you know, some of them are doing it tough at the moment with what's going on in society. Have you got a few words of wisdom for them on behalf of the playing group? Um, yeah, I do, actually. Um, firstly, we'd just like to say um, thanks for sticking with us. I know that it would be so frustrating to not be able to be there to watch us play. But, um, yeah, we'll just know that we'll be thinking about you when we run out there and um, we just can't wait for that first game where we get the where we get the seeds behind the goals cheering for us. Well done, Cheese. Thank you very much for joining us and go well on Saturday. Thank you, Zoe. Cheers, Lethal. Isaac coming there live from the Kia Sportage that we're doing the team talk back from. We're presented by Kia tonight and we're doing it from Giant Stadium. Cheese, it's going to be exciting to see Isaac coming there on the half back line. It's a strong back line with Sam Taylor just growing year on year. Nick Haynes, very unlucky not to be in the All-Australian team last year. Phil Davis, who was the captain for so long. Harry Heath Perryman Shaw. named on halfback. Yep. He's a gun. He's going to have an unbelievable year. He's going to be a very exciting player. Team Talkback coming to you from Giant Stadium, presented by Kia. We're doing it from Allison's Kia Sportage tonight. Plenty Actually, of room some questions, in though, these uncertain times. Yeah, pull up some fan questions that have been sent through. Online before we get our last guest on the show. What have you got there? Here we go. We've got is Sam Sam Taylor first picked in the side like he says he is? Uh, he I wouldn't would, be far off, would yeah, he? Yeah, I know that uh, Mark well. McVeigh, the backline coach, is a huge fan of him and, mm. and he would be putting his magnet right on the board very early. A couple about Lockie Ash. Is he far off? He's not far off. Is not he? far off. He's he was, uh, yeah, very, very unlucky not to be playing this week, but I'm sure we'll see him debut in the coming weeks. Will the no fans affect our pre-game vibes? Footballers are weird. Footballers can get themselves up for anything. Yeah, it's weird. They have the ability to, you know, turn off in front of 90,000 screaming mm. fans but then turn themselves on when there's no fans in the... Room. Have you seen um, the midfield group do weights? No. They jump in a huddle, all like 12 of them, and just chant things. Okay. So if you can do that for a weight session, I reckon we'll be fine for a game. One man who probably has <laughs> seen them do that, and that's weird because he isn't even <laughs> um, a member of the playing group or on staff. But you probably know him, Alex Williams. He's a bit of a giant super fan and he's a well-known Australian actor as well. And he's been good enough to join us from his... Uh, what did you call it this afternoon, Alex, that you're calling from? You, you've locked yourself away in isolation. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, mate. It's a home studio. You know, not a lot of uh, work happening for actors at the moment. So just locked myself up with a microphone. Um, it's going to get weird. Yeah, Alex, mate, uh, you are known to get yourself around the country to wherever the Giants are playing. Um, how are you going to handle this weekend when you've been locked out, even though you're in the same city as the team? Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Like, I mean, I, I don't think... Yeah, uh, what do you do? You just gotta, you just got to have the home set up um, going and uh, get excited at home. Right? Get on Twitter. <laughs> You do do some of your best best work on Twitter. Talk us through your most recent big big sound, man. Oh look, I saw the uh, I saw the call to arms uh, go out. I think it was late last week, and I thought I've got I've got a bit of time in isolation. <laughs> um, why not uh, throw something together with um, some of my editing skills and a bit of Jack Black? How long did it take you? Oh, about ten minutes. It took me about an hour to find a good video to to put it to. You know, scouring YouTube, but. Uh, about 10 minutes to edit it to, together. 
So Jack Black on a late night TV show playing a bit of big, big sound. What can be better than that? I know, right? No. Hey, Alex, um, mate, the Giants team this weekend, plenty of uh, big names in from that team that uh, didn't really get the result they were after on grand final day, including Cornelio, uh, Sam Jacobs, who's come across from Adelaide, uh, Big Tom Green. What have you made of the pre-season and what has you excited for 2020? Yeah, I was out of the game against the Swans the other day. It was pretty, pretty impressive. Um, Green, Green looked... Um, uh, he, he looks <laughs> intimidatingly large for a, for a mid- I think with him and Hopper, um, I wouldn't want to be coming up against those two. I think that's going to be a lot of crash into Ash, um, which would be great. Ash looks, uh, lucky Cash looks very good <laughs> off the back line. Looking forward to that. Um, a bit of some filthy skill. Uh, uh, yeah, and I'm, I, I think Langdon as like was the, was the sort of standout for the preseason. I think he was everywhere, everywhere kicking some great goals. So I'm, I think Langdon's going to have a big year. Um, and it's a tough, it's a tough forward line to get into, so um, it should be impressive. I've got good news and bad for news for you. Zach Langdon's definitely playing. Lockie Ash definitely not playing. Yes, but I that know. shows you how that's, tough it is to get in. That's a good thing, though. You know, having coming uh, come in is, is huge. He's he's been playing really well as well. I mean, I think our Neeful team is going to be um, formidable this year, which is great. Um, oh, oh, are they playing? Um, so it's less good when the so, needful competitions aren't officially happening, but they will keep playing some breakfast games. So they'll sort of be running around. Playing against well, the Swans so system. The so no, yeah. and, and you look at yeah. the, the guys uh, that are playing for that reserves team at the moment. Mumford, Reed, Zach Williams, just to name Matt a few. Matt Yep. Lockie Keith. Yep. There's, played uh, a prelim last year. Yeah, so it, it's going to be... a lot of good big defenders, which is great. Um, yeah, and that's, you know, that's probably been the, and the downfall in, in recent years, not having that um, pressure on players for spots. But footy's back, and uh, will you be enjoying the game tonight as well, Alex? Yes, yes, I'll be watching, I think, all of them. This, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. this, uh, <laughs> clearly a lot on the calendar, we're, right? We're all going to become real, like, footy nuffy experts, which is <laughs> going to get back to that stage as kids when we used to watch. How like... could it possibly have got worse? And it's like, here you go. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my, uh, I'm just going to put it out there. Jacob Hopper Jacob Hopper's going to win the shitty medal this year. Um, that's an early call. That's um, an early call, but I like it. You know, he was yeah. um, in front when he... Did his hammy, didn't he? Is yeah, it, so yeah. he basically only didn't win it because he um, missed two games with a hammy. Yeah, missed a hammy in like round 21. And yeah. That was, don't remind that's me. That's how tight it was. Yeah, don't bring that <laughs> up. Uh, uh, anyway, I reckon he's going to win it. No, that, that's a good call. And uh, my lock for the year is Nick Haynes to be all Australian. And probably the like probably Brownlow and everything else. I'm a big Nick Haynes fan at the moment. Hey, Alex, we're wrapping up. We're out of time. But thanks for joining us from the back of Allison's Kia Sportage parked here at Giant Stadium. No worries, mate. Thanks for having me. Alex, i got one more for you. Our social media coordinator, Susie, wants me to let you know that you've won our big, big sound competition. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> you've done it. He's done it. You've He's done, done it. it. There's some it's sort of prize. It. I can't remember what the prize was, but there's a prize coming to you. Oh, fantastic. A bit of a bit of uh, solace in my isolation. Be great. <laughs> we'll leave it like a, 10 metres out in front of your house. Yeah, it'll be next to your delivery. We'll wait to you. okay. right, with, every, with everyone sort of indoors, we're going to get some real big, big sound stuff going on this year. <laughs> Alex Williams, thanks as always for your support of the Giants. And that's all we've got time for on Team Talk Back this week. If you've been listening live, make sure you tell a mate to grab the podcast. And if you listen to the podcast, make sure you grab it again. Alison, thanks for your time this evening. Thanks for joining me in the passenger seat. This has been Team Talkback presented by Kia. Thanks to Craig Abercrombie for all the magic and getting us on air.